For you, what, you, you played a lot of two in AAU, you played a lot of one uh, for Huntington Prep. So what, what's been the bigger focus, or has it been a combination of both since you got to college? Um, been a combination of both, mostly the one, uh, working on helping the team, things like that. Well, what's enabled you to keep your shot where it is? I mean, obviously you started off big one against Kansas, you had a couple at Maryland. Uh, it, it seems like you know you're ready to go for, as a shooter when you when you hit the game. And I, how have you been working on the shot to make it game ready? Um, just getting up more reps uh, outside of practice, outside of things like that. Just staying at the gym, keeping it toned up, things like that. So when I'm getting the game, I'm ready to go. Curious, when you when you are in there running the play a little bit, what does Coach Green kind of expect out of you? What does he talk to you about? Just in terms of you being in this team. Getting the team into the plays, uh, talking, being aggressive, being sound on defense, things like that. Devontae, who, who are guys you've learned the most from uh, so far as a college freshman? Who have I learned the most from? Yeah. Um, I mean, I learned a little bit from everybody uh, when it comes to learning from the older guys, but I'd probably say j -Mo. He's been a good uh, leader to me to know about here. In, in what way? What's what's what, what makes him a good leader, a good mentor for for a college freshman? Uh, because he was in our position last year, so it's he knows what it's like for me, and he's always talking to me, um, giving me confidence, telling me uh, if I could get something on the play, telling me what I could do better in my game, things like that. Has there been any specific advice that either of you guys have gotten from from teammates that's really stuck with you so far? Uh, yeah. <coughs> Danny much or? Uh, here and there. You talk basketball, talk life. I mean, does he um, watch, watch your game and say, hey, this is good, don't do this? Or what, what's the interaction like? Um, we, we talk here and there. He he watches a couple of the games. Most of the time he has games when I have games, so sure. he doesn't catch all of them. But um, gives me advice when he can. Do you give him advice? Do you watch his game? <laughs> no. <I don't> <laughs> would, he listen, would he listen if you did? Uh, maybe. No, probably not. <laughs> <coughs> you know, for both you guys, there's a, a perceived uh, uptick, uptick in uh, um, intensity when you get to the Big Ten play. Have you guys noticed it? How, and if you have, how, how much more maybe intense is the Big Ten than in some of the, the non-conference games? Well, everybody comes out ready to play um, right from the right from the start of the game, but um, everybody knows everybody when it comes to teams and scouting. So they're ready for what we have coming for. For both of you guys, what part of your game did you feel like when you got into Big Ten play, you went, oh, okay, I got to get better at filling the blank? Taking care of the ball. For me, it was talking, uh, getting people in the right position, getting myself in the right position, talking, getting the team connected, stuff like that. How difficult is it for you to actually do that, to talk? I mean, being a freshman, having guys who've been together, been around for a couple of years, how, how difficult is it for you to actually you know, search yourself and, and you know, find your voice on the court when that is? Um, it was hard at first because I didn't know what to say, but now that I know like all the different stuff and schemes and things like that, it's kind of got easier to talk mm -hmm. and just, it can be about nothing but just talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Different things meaning what, like knowing the calls or just? Yeah, the plays, defensive schemes. Yeah. 
Anything else for these guys? All right, then.